Morning, seventh grade. I brought Ellie along because Glenda's working. She usually sends me a text when I'm here making videos. I wonder if I'm lonely because my children aren't here. I am kind of. Right? I don't want to be all sappy and everything, but I kind of miss you. All right? All right, I'm going to put Ellie down. You can get your math books a while. Uh, we're going to be looking at lesson 134, so you can turn to that, and we'll go over that. I am going to grade lessons 132 and 133. I'm distracted because Ellie's looking around for stuff. Where'd you put your backpack? Here, honey. Hey. Lesson 132 and 133, the odds. I want you to put with your math test and uh, deliver that to school. I will grade that. That will go on your report card. So please, if you have not found out yet that 132 and 133 are going to be graded, please, please, please get it done. Do it carefully. Hand it in with your tests and quizzes. I will remind you on Friday. I will send a t uh, video for your parents, especially just to remind them of the things that they need to deliver to school on the weekend so that I can grade them next week, the tests and quizzes that you've taken and any homework that I want. So, All right, let's look at lesson 134. This is due on Friday. And what we're doing in lesson 134 is getting rid of any fractions that are in your equations. All right, so we want to get rid of the fractions. We all know that fractions complicate things, okay? Fractions make the math uh, more complicated. Now what is, an, a fraction is actually a what kind of a problem? So three over four, five over six is what? Add, subtract, multiply, divide, right? We know, we remember, hopefully, that all fractions are division problems, okay? So what you're doing here is three divided by four, right? So when you divide by 4, what do you do? What's the opposite that you do to get rid of the 4? Okay, so in all of these fractions, 3 divide. let's just review what all this means. This means 3, four, three over 4 times x equals 27. 5 over 6, or technically 5 divided by 6 times x equals 3 times, the parentheses means three times two and one six. okay? Don't forget about the language of an equation. Don't forget what times. Multiply uses the parentheses. Multiply uses the literal number up against the other number or fraction, okay? Multiply uses the dot. Uh, because of these kinds of problems, because of the letter X, we do not use this in a problem like this as a multiplication symbol. Okay, we use the other ways to show multiply. All right, so we want to get rid of the fractions. So all we're doing here, and this is not that complicated, don't let it, don't let it mess you up, don't let it freak you out, okay? So you're going three divided by four. What's the opposite of divided by four to get rid of this four, okay? So you simply multiply both sides by the denominator. 4 times 3 over 4 equals 4 times 27. Okay? Now that gets rid of the 4s. Divide by 4 times 4 gets rid of the 4s. So all that you, oops, we need to keep the x in here, sorry. The x stays in. Alright, so now we have gotten rid of the 4s, and all we have left is what? 3x. Now we have gotten rid of the fraction. 3x 
equals, what's 4 times 27? 4 times 27 is 108. All right? Next step, now we know the steps. 3 times x, 3 divided by x, by 3 equals 108 divided by 3. Now we have again gotten rid of the 3's so that all we have left is x. x equals whatever 108 divided by 3 is. 108 divided by 3 is 36. Now you can check your work. If you go 3 fourth times 36, you will find that that equals 27. Okay, so you simply, you have a fraction. This means 3 divided by 4. So the opposite of divided by 4 is times 4. 4 times 4 gets rid of the 4s. All you have left is 3x. 3x equals, make sure, remember to do the same thing on the other side. You multiply by 4 over here, you have to multiply by 4 over here. 3x equals 108. And then you know how to do this, 3x divided by 3 equals 108 divided by 3, x equals 36. All right, let's look at this one. You see on this one that you have the added complication of having a mixed number over here. So the very first thing you do is turn the mixed number, don't do anything else, just turn the mixed number into a improper fraction. So now we have this stays the same, 5 over 6, x equals 3, what does that mean? 3 times, 2 times 6 is 12, 13 over 6, right? Now what are we doing? How do we get rid of the 5 divided by 6? What's the opposite of divided by 6? So again, the same way as over here. Multiply by the denominator. So we have 5, 6, denominator, 6 times 5 over 6x, keep the x in, equals 6 times 3 times 13 over 6. Okay, this all means times. 6, 6 times 3 times 13 over 6. So what do we now what did we now cancel out? Now we canceled out this 6, this 6, this 6, and this 6. If you want to, you could do the 3 times 13 over 6 and put the times 6 next to the 6 so you know that that's what you're canceling out. Okay, just so that you don't get confused with that. All right, so what do we have left? 5x equals 3 times 13. All right, 5x equals 39. Divided by 5, 39 divided by 5, all right, your answer is going to have a remainder. If your answer has a remainder, make it a fraction, okay? Your answer is going to be, so this cancels out, the 5, 39 divided by 5 is 7. Seven and four fifths. Let me make sure you can see that good. So just check this video out if you have any questions, okay? If you have a fraction, three divided by four, four times four. Multiply 4 on both sides, that gets rid of the 4s, all you have left is 3x. 
3x equals, multiply this, 108. Then 3x divided by 3, 108 divided by 3x equals 36. Turn the mixed number into an improper fraction. Multiply by 6 to get rid of the 6s. 6 times 6 over here, 6 times 6 gets rid of the 6s. So all you have left is 5x, 13 times 3. Solve that, 39, 5x divided by 5, 39 divided by 5, x equals 7 and 4 fifths. All right, I think that is all I need to tell you about this. Please have this lesson, 134, done by Friday. And I will give you instructions on Friday for the weekend and what needs to be done then. So.